Brakde hawa, brakde hawa shai, brakde hawa, brakde hawa shai. Call all you all who are Allah Hayna Yahawa. Bahashem Yahawa shai, Bashem Kakadash. Bless you, Most High Yahawa. Bless you in the name of the only begotten Son, Yahawa shai. In the name of the Spirit, holy. All praises, honor, and glory to our power, Yahawa. Bahashem Yahawa shai, Bashem Kakadash. The powers of Yasha Allah. Yasha Allah mean He the Prince of the Power, which is Israel. In English, which consists of so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, which are the true biblical Israelites. And since <clears throat> our sea has been scattered across the four winds, some of our people look like the heathen nations where they've been scattered too. But lineage going back to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, by the way, their fathers making them Israelites. Shalom to the elect of the 144,000. The prophets out of <clears throat> each of the twelve tribes of Israel, twelve thousand men, choice men out of each of the twelve tribes of Israel, collectively equaling one forty four thousand. And of course, Shalom to the remnant of the one third men, women, and children who are believers in the words of the Lord, which the Lord is going to have mercy upon as well. All right, who know prophets but are of the elect they've been chosen to receive the salvation and to escape the destruction the nuclear destruction and <clears throat> of course the coming calamities you know they will be in the midst of the calamities but will receive deliverance and if they do have to see death um, their works do follow them um, predestined to be like so Shemiah Mapa and it's a Mapa from the Great Millstone Plate Tables Camp located here in the city of Philadelphia. It's coming with a wee lesson. So um you know there's times I watch um some of these uh red pill slash MGTOW um guys. I'm not I'm not sure if Ty X worldwide identifies as red pill or MGTOW but you have a lot of these guys they're pretty much exposed female nature. Uh, something which a lot of uh, Jake, um, like so, you say, basically Israelites, such as myself, um, you know, you may know about it, its female nature, but you may um, see basically uh, through, um, I'll say, a, a, a confused lens. You, know, you may give them the benefit of the doubt a lot of the time. Because uh, me... Uh, personally, I grew up, you know, and um, from I remember reading the Bible, um, I, I pretty much came to the conclusion that women are wicked. <laughs> just pretty much just being straight, you know, um, that pretty much, uh, you know, they would choose to do <laughs> opposite to what uh, would be right, you know, and, um, you know, that, that's uh, it's scriptural. Obviously, uh, women that are listening, like as they have, uh, they have out there elect ladies, and they have um, what do they have it. Uh, yeah, the elect lady are, you know, a part of the remnant of the one third is uh, women, and mostly is made up women who are going to be attached to Israelite men, you know, of the elect uh, prophets and uh, one third. Elect men, okay. Um, you have elect men as well who are not prophets that they're going to be delivered to. You know, uh, scriptures talk about women they're going to be saved through childbearing, okay. Uh, we'll get some of them scriptures, um, but just to go into it, you know, I'm gonna get um, what is that? This is the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 7, with Solomon, Shalomah in the Hebrew, which is Solomon. Um, hey, he, he had all the wisdom, all right? This is starting at verse... 23 it says all this have I proved by wisdom I said I will be wise but it was far from me 
that which is far off and exceedingly deep who can find it find it out i apply my heart to know and to search and to seek out wisdom and the reason of things and to know the wickedness of folly even the foolishness and madness so he had the full spectrum all right solomon knew this full spectrum all right to know basically everything all right to know folly you know to know righteousness know everything okay so you know he had to be of course to know how a woman could you know basically be and act as it's gonna go on too for him to make this um true statement and i uh, it says i find more bitter, bitter than death the woman whose heart is snares and nets all right you have um more bitter being unpleasant mar in the hebrew which means basically unpleasantness bitter okay um bitterness okay you know it's hard when something is bitter i remember uh mer which is marar in the Hebrew, um, I remember burning it for the first time. You know, when I first e experimented with the uh, incense resins, resins, different uh, uh, resins that um, you know have obviously uh, physical, uh, spiritual properties, uh, medicinal properties, and such. When I first burnt myrrh, it was, it was so unpleasant, I thought I couldn't even stay in the room. Okay? I couldn't. You know, that, that, that shows how, um, hey, if anything, I believe in the spirit, how much I need purification. You know, just a reflection. You know, because if something is so bitter, there's a lot of things that there's bitters that actually does good for yourself. But uh, it was so bitter that I was like, I actually came to the, I was came to the conclusion. I was like, I don't even know if I can burn this around brothers, because <laughs> the smell. But um, you know, I've even came to 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 you know the knowledge that, hey, even a sweet smell of incense can be bitter, uh, to those that are unclean and such too. You know, so it's uh, spiritual. But uh, anyway, going back, I find more bitter than death, the woman. Whose heart is as snares and nets. Matazawat for snares and nets is haram. Alright, so you have it as a um, uh, snare is matazawad, which means a net basically a stronghold net for capturing fish besieging oh getting conquered man and you have net haram which is um you have it haram a net being proliferated have been utterly destroyed. <laughs> that it dang, that it dangs, and which should have been utterly destroyed. Devoted thing, net. Going back to ban or devoted to destruction. Damn, that's heavy. So, or <laughs> it's like devoted to destruction. And that's like chaos, basically. You know, you have it. You know, I've seen, you know, I just even this week, you know, um, just because I had a difference in a, a belief based on the scriptures from a, um, oh, a so-called Christian woman. You know, I gave her a couple of scriptures. Um, she basically uh, wished, basically she wished bad for me. You know, she basically wanted to have my job taken away. You know, she wants, uh, you know, she, she's still staying Oh, I love you, but, you know, she is angry to get rebuked. 
you know, because, you know, I told her, you know, um, basically, um, you wanting our people to participate in this political system, thinking you're going to seek answers, uh, or get answers and, and a wage increase for $15 an hour, despite the fact that Jake need more than $15 an hour. They, Jake need a livable wage. Fifteen dollars fighting for for pennies is is pointless. You know she was angry, you know, and she said that she couldn't be taught or nothing like that. And I didn't even have to even, I was even trying to teach the woman. Just a demon just came out on her. But that tells you how, how deep and chaotic their minds are. Okay, <laughs> wicked women that is. All right. It says, um. And her hands is as bands, you know, as a binding her, you know. You know, with the power of their hands, you know, you know, which they use manipulation tactics because they being a weaker vessel. They try to trap you, okay, to get you to go towards what their interest is, okay? If they can't, you know, hey, they're of no use for you. So a lot of us men, like I say, we, as it says, whoso pleases the most high shall escape from her, the woman, right? But the sinner shall be taken by her, or by taken by a wicked woman. Now, when you're taken, you, hey, you getting taken by a thing devoted to destruction, <laughs> all right? A uh, mind devoted to chaos and destruction, basically. You got Lakud in the Hebrew, meaning to be seized, captured, in the grasp, basically. All right, to capture of men. That's something you don't want to be. The sinner shall be taken by. It. So you want to be of that uh lot of, you know, the Psalms one. Um, I, I believe it's Psalms, uh, that's a good precept, but it's not the one I want. Um, imputed not sin to himself. Uh, Psalm chapter 30, 32 and 2 Blessed is the man Whom Yahweh imputeth Not iniquity In whose spirit there is no guile Okay you want You know the Lord not to Impute uh, The account You know lay, basically lay into the charge <laughs> Um, iniquity in whose spirit there is no guile uh, you have here guile for deceit treacherously from Ramayah from Ramah Ramah yeah exactly you know we, we don't want to be wicked basically Let's put it that way, like Job would say. Thou knowest I am not wicked, right? Uh, Job chapter... Job chapter 10 and 7, Thou knowest that I am not wicked, and there is none that can deliver out of thine hand. Okay. Right. So yeah, man. Uh, going to you know pretty much this lesson now. You got you know the you know these guys, you know uh, with the MGTOW red pill. Let me see. I gotta find the, uh, this. And they expose the female nature. And a lot of us, like I said, I mean, there's more more precepts I can go into. You know, from a moth cometh a garment. 
uh, from women wickedness. You know, there's a lot of different scriptures, but you know, um, you have it that um, you know, you made a notice like you be being damn near screwed over all of the time and such. You know, if somebody's messing about with you just continually. And you're like, damn, man, like, this is pointless. But, you know, you still lured to it. Well, thanks really to the Bible, you have the truth. And Solomon found it out. Which is, uh, hey, I got to finish it off. Because I ain't finish it off. The seventh chapter, it says... <clears throat> Behold, this I have found, said the preacher, counting one by one to find the account. Okay, account goes into uh, thinking or the reasoning. Okay, the intelligence. All right, going back to Khashab uh, uh, Wan from Khashab. Khashab goes into think. All right, devising. All right. So... He wanted to know what the account was. And it says, Which yet my soul secret seeketh, but I find not one man among a thousand have I found. But a woman among all those have I not found. So it was not found a righteous one. A righteous woman, basically. Okay. <laughs> In the account. All right. La ah, mana or ma taza ah. Which means to find. Which really to he he learned this, okay. <laughs> he learned this, you know. And he, he leaving it here, so we gotta, as the scriptures say, the things that are written for time are written for our learning, or myself right. Okay, as it says, lo, this only have I found that the power had made man upright. Okay, man upright. Okay, but they have sought out many inventions. Okay, many different thinkings by devising of idols and. Believing in idols and not believing in the Most High, okay. For the the, the uh the beginning of the pride when one departed from his nature, and you can go into them different scriptures. Yeshar is upright, okay. Man, upright. From Adam, from Adama. Or, no, that's going ha, uh, yeah, ha, Adam. Yeah, which means man. All right? He did that for the sons of God. All right? And that starts with, obviously, the elect. Okay? But, yeah, man, so, um, you know, women, you know, <laughs> I can say, you go back to the beginning, you know, uh, she was being deceived by a serpent, you know, then the fall comes with her coming with the different philosophy to Adam. You know, that speaks a lot. So anyway, um, you have it, you know, you learn about female nature and with feet learning of female nature. You know, these MGTOW guys, they'll let you on game, even though the scriptures teach you about female nature, not to trust them and etc. Not to let them put it on your substance, etc. So you have it, the traps, her mind, you know, the different traps, hands as bands and stuff. So, you know, you have it here, you know, I can give you an example where as it, the, the title says she don't like you but she's always watching you and um you'll have it where uh remember and even with women they can change their mind uh in a second in a heartbeat 
you know, as uh, we knew, know that she darkeneth her count her her countenance as sackcloth. Darkeneth. Let me see. Oh, I gotta see if I can find that. Darkeneth. Uh, sackcloth. Let me see if I find this real quick. This is uh, Ecclesiasticus chapter 25 and 17. The wickedness of a woman changes her face and darkeneth her countenance like sackcloth. And a woman, like I say, as it goes into, uh, you have to understand they're duplicit. All right, which goes into um, <clears throat> basically double dealing, deceitful in speech and conduct. Like one, you can see him like the chick like you, and she really don't. She can act like she do, act friendly, but look, see deceit and guile, fraud, trickery, hands as bands from duplex, meaning twofold or double. Two face, and you gotta watch out for that type of uh, person. Uh, person dangerous. <laughs> you got guys that are like that, you know. Um, so you gotta be very, very careful. Just remember, the scriptures already warned you. All right. Again, the wickedness of a woman changes her face. You know, so she can even appear um, as if she's good. You know, even though she's evil and darkeneth or act as if she has good intentions, but don't and darkeneth her countenance, darken her face, her presence like sackcloth, right? Darkeneth her countenance like sackcloth seem as if she is sad and mourning, but really, you know, you end up finding out. You know, she's really, um, you know, happy to see you confused. Happy in whatever state you in, you know, seeing you, you know, apparently lose or something like that. Like, yeah, have chicks, they, they act as if they, they like seeing you winning, but don't. Everybody loves a winner, but like I say, a lot of these women seeing us in the truth, they don't want to see us winning, all right? You know, some do, but... A lot don't. Yo, yo. Also, Ty X Y, Ty X Y Y. If I, you see this video, I don't um, receive any monetization, nor do I am profiting off of this, other than bringing this out for the elect, I meaning the chosen ones. Okay. Yo, what up? What up? What up? It's your boy. Ty so fair use warning. Ty X Worldwide. Now check this out. She don't like you, but she's always watching you. Now this happens when you said when you got like them different social media sites or all that. Um, you know, you got different features like Instagram. They'll show you on different stories and stuff like that. Instagram story posts who's actually watching your content. You have people that watch women that watch your content and don't make a comment. Um, you know, I've learned of this, um, even before Instagram, back when I was in the world, you had it, um, you know, I would wonder why people, women come out of nowhere, out of nowhere, like when I actually had, uh, a woman at the time, a woman, <laughs> um, you know, you had women come out of nowhere, seeing the success that I was having within my relationship, me traveling and, you know, pretty much uh, giving, you know, my woman the best that I can offer. Um, they wanted a piece of that. You know, they, they try to act as if they like me, but, you know, did they truly like me? <laughs> you know, or is it that I'm that best option that they would like to have at that, that moment? You know, and, um, you know, I see the truth. Um you know, because uh, you had, uh, say, for example, as we're going to go on, too. She watched everything you do. 
She watching all your moves. She watching everything. She every, everything she's just watching. Now this might be a chick that probably curved you, probably flicked on you, or probably pulled some foolishness on you. Yeah, you got a chick, literally, you know, acting as if they watching your stuff, seeing what you is. They'll hit you up, you know. But then you, you, you know, or you hit them up. You like oh, I see you watching me basically. But then you try to set plan, they're not trying to make a plan. So it's like that's a game. That's snares and nets. So that's a waste of time. Alright? She don't like you, but she always watching you. A girl, if she really liked you, she gonna make sure she see you. In the time of Jacob Trouble, these chicks gonna love us, alright? Okay, they're going to want to be down on the team because we're going to be a man is going to be made more precious than fine gold. All right, as it tells you in uh, the book of uh, Isaiah, the 13th 13, 13 chapter, I believe. And verse 12, I will make a man more precious than fine gold, even as even a man. Then the golden wedge of Ophir, very desirable uh, gold found here in Babylon. Okay. Yeah, man. More precious than fine gold. So that's refined gold. More precious than refined gold. Come on, man. It's going to be a problem. <laughs> you know? But yeah, man, she don't like you, but she always watching you. And they'll play like they're not watching you. Like, just wa look at, I look and observe women as they walk by. They look at themselves. Then they look at who's looking at them, but try to appear as if they don't, or they're not trying to look at Who's looking at them in their peripheral? Despite you can see their eyes on the side of their head, basically. You know? And then if you say, you you see, you called her, she'll say, I wasn't looking at you. That's confusion. So anyway. And she's watching you because she thinks that's going to break you. <laughs> She's watching you because she thought whatever she did was going to hurt you and, you know, was going to bring you down because a lot of these women are insecure, I can tell you. So they think by rejecting you or, you know, uh, pulling a fast one on you that that's going to bring you down. That's going to give them power. You know, women are very duplicit. You know, I, like I said, working out in the field, see women try to act as if they like you and be friendly only to get you to, and they try to do it indirectly. Only to try to get you to do something for them. Look at the intent, what they want. Now look what they want. Don't look at um, them, really. <laughs> look at what they want. All right? And if it's not you, then what the hell am I doing it for? So she's... With, with them, would they ever do what we want? In most cases, no. Unless they like you. Go on. Watch you because she's like, okay... Uh, maybe he gonna be thirsty over me. Maybe he gonna try to, you know, uh, come to me and put me on a pedestal. But see, you ain't doing that. And now she's mad. I keep telling you, just cause of- Yeah, and chicks get mad about that. Cause a chick shouldn't be on a pedestal. It's gonna be us, the elect man on the pedestal. All right? Simple as that. The elect man will be on the pedestal. You know, you're gonna have it where- you know, the Isaiah four and one comes in the in the in the in the, in the, in the play. Part of me, <laughs> you know, when that day shall in the, that day is the time of Jacob trouble. Y'all you know, hell break loose and there's chaos and riots in the streets and men going into busting into each other's houses and taking invading and taking spoils, etc. You know, uh, it's gonna be crazy out here. And people didn't have any money, no resources, but the Lord see, uh, the, the the woman see, men of the Lord being taken care of. In all stability, they're gonna want part of that, and it's gonna be multiple women to per man, a man, you know, to his according to his desire, 
which accordingly his desire is going to be based on what the Lord put within him to the, to actually long for and crave. Okay. And that day shall seven women should take hold of one man, saying, We will eat our own bread and wear our own apparel. Only let us be called by thy name to take away our reproach. So they're going to want to be our uh, wives. Simple as that. And the simple is formed by the act of sex. Okay, simple as that. It's not in the form of, oh, now we going to go. I'm going to go with, so I'm going to go with seven women to Esau government and, and um, and see if I can get married. No, it's not going to work like that. They going to come a complete amount of women because seven represents completion. Is going they going to really come hard. You know, like like you know, they going with, with much strength. They going to be firm and use one strength. Um you know, they going to come as it says uh As like binding or tying, girding, or applying to strength, in so much as with muscles well bound and with loins girded. All right, they're gonna come with all their strength, pretty much, to try to be with us. All right, I wanna be down like that song from Brandy. I wanna be down with you. You know, y'all know that song. Uh, let me let me pull that up real quick. comes up from Brandy and the lyrics. I actually, I think it's it's kind of cheesy in a sense, but I, I actually like it. Um, Old song. No better than some of these stupid songs these days. It says, I would like to get to know you if I could be the kind of girl that you could be down for. Right. And we only going to want girls that's going to be in order. Women that's in order. It's like women that's in order. All right? Of our preference. Because when I look at you, I feel something. Tell me that you're the kind of guy that I should make a move on. We ain't going to have to tell them. They going to make the move. All right? Because you have it with these days. Chicks, they, they, they watching, but they ain't making the move. All right, you have it. It's like a bunch of confusion out here. Like, you know, I, you, you know, you got chicks that they claiming they aquas and all this other stuff, but they, like I said, the Lord ain't had a spirit on them to, 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 to move on you, cause it's just not that time. Or like I said, a lot of the time these chicks that's claiming aquas, they're not really the true aquas. I'm just putting it that. Like I said, I believe a lot of the chicks <laughs> that act like they is like women is full of shape. You know, absolutely. You know, to it be manifest that they're no, you know, most majority, I, like I said, it's, it's like a joke. You know, you see some of the, it's like women that, that claim the faith of knowing the Lord's name and, and following statutes commandments doing the most wickedest things. All right. Remember, they darken their countenance as, uh, let me reread that. The wickedness of a woman changed her face. You know, so if she can try to make herself look like she got the head wrap and she in subjection. Meanwhile, the chick don't believe in nothing. No Corinthians, the head of a woman, of every woman is a man. She don't believe in that. She believe that the Most High is dealing with her and all this other stuff. Now, you're going to have chicks singing like, like Brandy uh, saying... And I don't let uh, it said, and if I don't let you know, then I won't be for real. I could be wrong, but I feel like something could be going on. The more I see you, the more that it becomes so true. There ain't no other for me. It's only you. Right. And like I said, women can make you feel like that sometimes, but and it could be a whole nother like they live in a whole double life. You know, just look at, like I said, <laughs> shoot, man. Like I said, me, if I had a, you know, <laughs> my world is basically being in a world by myself with my woman, <laughs> which ain't this world. So, hey, just being, that's why I don't have no woman. Because, 
you know, uh, really mixing them with this world is like, it's just confusion, man. And it says, I want to be down uh, with what you got going, what what you're going through, right? And we going through the straight gate to the kingdom. The, the elect women that's paired with us will have to go through the straight gate with us, right? Uh, the scriptures do say, save through as it says child bearing okay if they endure uh, I, I gotta just pull it up it's uh yeah, second Timothy's Let's see. I spelled child bearing wrong. Right there. Notwithstanding, she shall be saved in child bearing. Right? To bring forth seed for the, of the elect for the kingdom. If they continue in faith and charity and holiness with sobriety. So, so women, you got to fulfill this if you're with a man of the Lord. You got to continue. All right. In faith and in charity and holiness with sobriety, with a clear mind, self-control. You know, you can't be in the truth talking about some, you know, um, I'm doing me. I don't think we should be together. You know, um, you know, all the stupidness, like some of these chicks be bringing up in their mind and stuff like that. Uh, you know, women that deny they actually with a man, and you'll you'll find it out. You know, you're denying it. You know, and then you, you know they they talking about some. Well, now um, we can uh, we can get back together or something or something. Because remember, remember, if, even if you break up with a woman, right? The scriptures do talk about reconciliation. You know, they shouldn't be with another man. You know, because really, like I say, it, remember, jealousy of, of a man. Um, rage of man is, what is that? This is Ecclesiastes. I think that is. It's been a while. Some of these dead precepts, man, of is over his woman, basically. You know, um, what's that precept? So, you know, like I said, a woman, a man find out a woman done, done committed adultery on him, he gonna be, he feel betrayed. You know, he like, you know, he obviously is like, man, what the hell? Like, you know, he want obviously, you know, his revenge, but we know we not in this time. You know, so it's like, you know, damn. You know, truly oppression making wise man mad. You know, but uh, you know, we move forward. Um, you know, I kind of lost my train of thought, but you know, it's it's annoying dealing with that. You know, having to deal with a uh, a woman. You know, wanting like she talking about. You know. You know, reconcile. Being reconciled back with her husband, but then you, know, you got adultery on the table, adultery that was committed, right? Scriptures say that First Corinthians seven and ten it says, "And unto the Mary I command, yet not I, but the Lord let." Not the wife depart from her husband. Okay, y'all shouldn't be trying if you have a husband to be departing from him. All right, separate, separate oneself from. Yes, you. Oh, uh, nah, I'm trying to go off. Nah, the Lord will work it out. 
You know, you got women, uh, you know, could be elect, you know, with guys in the world. They done got with a guy in the world before, you know, learning about the truth. Uh, but then they're, you know, find themselves following this knowledge. They can't just quit their man at all. You know, so, you know, that's it. Um, you know, the Lord have you get with an elect brother in the time of Jacob trouble. You know, hey, you know, basically the Lord had to put that guy to death for <laughs> things to be, you know, on deck, you know. Nobody want to be caught up in adultery. Simple as that. It says, um, but if she depart, let her remain unmarried. Right. You know, she, you know, something happened with, with her and her, her man. She should just be basically uh, unmarried. Or be reconciled, or to be reconciled with to her husband. And let not the woman, the husband put away his wife. All right, because basically, if you put away your wife, you're pretty much setting her to be an adulterer, you know, because she most cat likely is going to get with another man. And now that man committing adultery, she committing adultery, and just nothing but defilement going on, you know. Well, yeah, man, you know, going on, if she don't like you, it's because she don't like you, but she always watching you. It's because they're confusion. Confusing. They don't have their mind made up. They don't know what it is. A woman is watching you does not mean she like you. And guys, you know exactly what I'm talking about. I ain't gotta, yeah, I ain't got to break it down for you. You know exactly. Because a chick will get with you if she really like you. She'll she'll jump on the team. You know she she'll make it known. You know she gonna do you like a rock star, pretty much. You know meaning. You know, she she gonna like you see how them stars be on top of uh Chris Brown and all them other artists keep sweating all them different artists, musicians, you know, they all off can't get their hands off them, crying, falling, fainting, all that. You know? That's what I want. You know, I don't I don't want no some chick just playing running game and all that. I don't deal that way, you know. So you, know, you you gotta be on some worship type, reverence type time, you know. You know, if it's uh with me, you know, I'm not, I don't play games, you know. <laughs> exactly what I'm talking about. If you don't know what I'm talking about, then oh well. I speak for men who know exactly what I'm talking about. You know exactly what I'm talking about when a woman is watching you, but she really don't like you. Yep. She's really not feeling you like that. Because I told you, when a woman likes you, she's not going to play no games. You're not just going to keep watching you and always seeing what you got going on. No, she's going to make that attempt. Yeah, she going to, she gonna, like, they going to they gonna extend themselves. That's what they. What do you think the chicks gonna be doing in um, Jacob Trouble? They are gonna extend themselves. You know, they are gonna make that attempt. It ain't gonna be no. Oh, I gotta go run out there to. All right, girl. Um, you know, I know I'm a man of the Lord, but here, you know, you want you want to be with me? No. These chicks are gonna be like, Brandy song say. I want to be down, with what you going through. You know, I want to be down and, you know, you can sing, sing it down, whatever. <laughs> I'm not going to sing for y'all. Yeah, I want to be down with you no matter the time of the day or night. It's true. I want to be down, you know. Yeah, so, you know, that's it, man. <laughs> you know, all these goofy games as the dude would say, I like saying that too. That's over. All right. We we come into the prophecy, MOTB, you know, lockdowns, chariots. You know, we come into hell, all right? Hell hitting this place, man. Nuclear fire hitting this place. Right, a train going to hit this place. <laughs> you know, so, yeah, man. Watch out for the games. She's going to actually call you. She's going to actually contact you. Yeah, yeah, and that's why it's not, you know, you know when a chick really like you, she, like I said, they be doing all the stuff that, like I said, the chicks that you you would want to like you, don't do. And that's where I know when a girl really like me. Simple as that. They, It's like you, you they world, you know. <laughs> that's pretty much it, which we should be their world. I mean, we're their gods. 
All right. She gonna make that move. Women don't just sit there and watch guys they like. No, that don't happen. But see, when they don't like you, they'll watch you. Hoping that, you know, you fall for her games. Hoping that you fall for the bait. Hoping that, you know, you 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 put her on the pedestal and contact her and chase her. That's what they want. It Listen, Solomon had to know this. All right. Say I found more bitter than death the woman whose heart is as snares and nets, man. Roughly paraphrasing. They want you to chase them. And that's why she's watching you because you're not doing that. You on your grind. You focus. You doing other things. And she see that. Women not dumb, bro. She see that. And a lot of times, it pisses women off. I keep telling you, bro. When you ignore women, sometimes they really like that. But a lot of times, they don't, bro. Yep. That's true. Shows that you got dedication, man. You know, I remember me being in the world, going after a pursuit in jiu-jitsu. Um, you know, literally, that's everything I was about. Um, you know, that's what actually got me what I got, you know. Um, you know, a chick wanted to get with you, basically, to see if she can get part of that time, you know. <laughs> you know, she want to be part of that potential or what you actually are, you know, which we champions, you know. So, yeah, man. A lot of times they cannot stand when you ignore them. Yeah, women hate that. You know, I learned that the hard way, too. So, <laughs> it is what it is, man. But, yeah, man. You know, we, we the prize. Men, you know, you can watch this on your own. I'll leave a link. I like the, I like his content a lot, man. You know, so. Yeah, Shalom to the Lake. All praise the Yabashim, Shabashim, Kodesh.